What up, what up? Big Herc 916. Positivity and motivation. Keeping you guys laced up. And I'm always trying to uh, put out some positive energy to hopefully save some lives out there. I hate to see young men dying for nothing. But it seems to be uh, the same story these days in news headlines. So Philly comedian Wooks Biddy was shot dead while doing um, a live after he spoke on FBG Duck and Tuca hours before. And this is uh, on Newsbreak.com. But uh, apparently he said something about 63rd and made some comments about some people. And they didn't take it lightly. And... Um, this kid, from what I understand, he's from Philly, and so he's from a totally different area, but yet um, uh, he still got touched up. So, you know, they don't know if it was related to the comments or if it was coincidence, but um, this kid, uh, Wooks Biddy from Philly, the comedian, was only 20 years old. And, dude, life was cut short. And I, I, I just, I, man, you know, I used to do some really dumb shit, man. And, you know, at one point, I was one of those knuckleheads, but I didn't have any outlets as far as to reach out to, to even hear anything, you know, to drop in my ear. You know, of course, you have family members to some degree saying stuff to you, but, you know, outside of that, there wasn't really a lot of uh, what I consider role models or people trying to put that vibe out there. Well, I'm trying to put it out there for you guys, man. And um, I know a lot of you guys are hitters. I know what you're capable of because, you know, I've been there and I know the mentality. But, um, you know, in today's day and age, man, you guys have so many resources, so much other opportunities, so many things you could be doing with your life that these murder beasts, man, <laughs> they don't go away. That's the thing. Police can have a cold case for 20 years, man. So you could be in your 40s and they can find evidence and you will get convicted. It, it never goes away, man. It doesn't just with time and, you know, uh, the passing of different, you know, situations, it, it just gets swept under the rug. No, somebody will come in, a new officer or a new team, and they'll go through and they'll look at all the cases that are unsolved and they'll start putting together information, talking to people. Some people that you know you might have told might have a change of heart. And that's a wrap for you, man. You're going for life. You're going for life, man. Over what? You know, you might get away for a little while, but I'm telling you, man, I've heard stories, man. Girlfriends get mad years later. Like, you know, I, hey, you know, at the time, maybe she was a writer and now she ain't with you no more. And she's got another boyfriend and a child. She's not going to do the time. She's not going to sit there and ride that beef for you. So just think before you act, man. You know, it, it's, 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 it's such a quick thing to react and pull the trigger. But you can't take it back. You can't put that bullet back in the gun. You can't, you know, and I've been shot at, man. You know, I got into it with a fool one time at a movie theater. And, uh, I could talk about it because the incident's old and the dude already did his time, got arrested. But, it, you know, dude tried to take me out the game. Got into a little scuffle. Uh, old boy, uh, you know, stole on me and uh, took off running. I ran after him. And I ran out, you know, into the into the parking lot. And he ran, I ran and chased him to his car. He, he reached in his car and grabbed something and put it behind his back. I stopped dead in my tracks like, oh, this ain't going to be a fist fight. And I was 18 at the time. Had just graduated high school. 
I don't know how old the dude was, but, uh, you know, there was an exchange of words. He like, you know, you know, what's, what's happening now? And I, I started backing up, you know, I can't, you know, I, I knew it was coming. And, uh, luckily by the grace of God, I hit the ground and the bullets flew over me, you know, hitting things in the backdrop. And, um, I wasn't hit, but I could have been killed that day for nothing, man, just for, you know, an exchange of some mad dog in, you know, some dudes fighting and, you know, world exchange. I could have been killed. I could have lost my life. 18, man, just graduated. But just to put that in a perspective, right after that, I kept getting in other fights, you know, doing other shit. It just, it didn't stop, man. And eventually I went to California Youth Authority probably six months after that. <laughs> so what did that tell you? My path of destruction. And then eventually went to the federal pen until I, you know, wisened up and, and kind of reflected on my life. But I'm trying to tell you guys this to say that before you get to that point that you got to go to uh, a lockup facility to find yourself, you know, if you get locked up for a murder, see attempted murder, you might do 10 if you don't hit nobody, you know, or, you know, maybe 15. But if you hit somebody 10 or 15, you think it's, uh, that's a long time, man. It's a long time to be away from the streets for 10 years. I've been going from the streets before at one time for, for eight years, eight months. And it's a long time to be away. So if you think, oh man, and, and don't nobody care when you come home, you ain't getting no accolades. It ain't, ain't nothing waiting for you, man. It's, it's, it's you as an old person now trying to get a job and you've been out of the workforce and nobody cares and it's not woe you. But now, like I said, that's a 10 year beef. You get a, you get a, a murder beef and you get a life. And you know, if you lucky, you can get back and, and try to somehow get out 30, 40 years later, you're a grandpa. You're done. You're done, man. Your life is over with from, Early, you're 18, 19, 20, early 20s, you're done. You're, you got attempted murder. You got life. Actually, you got a murder. If you do a murder, you got life. You're not getting out. You might get the chair. You guys, man, I'm trying to tell you, man, a penitentiary, it, it, it ain't, ain't nobody in there rapping in there, celebrating being in there. Ain't nobody. They're not toasting in there. They're not, dude, it's every man for himself, man. And it's, it's dudes crossing each other up daily and people are cutthroat. Nobody cares. The penitentiary is nasty, man. Nasty in all kind of ways. This, some of the stuff people engage in, the drugs, the homosexuality, dealing with guards, just the living conditions in some places. You know, you get sent to the hole. You might be down there. You can't shower. The, the, you can't, the water's nasty, spoiled milk stale sandwiches being shackled up you know dealing with just really dehumanizing abuse but you put yourself in that position you put yourself in that position see nobody wants to talk about that where you got guys in there that's them went crazy and they're rubbing they're rubbing shit all over themselves because they they don't they lost it they got boo boo all over their face and bodies and they just in there playing in their own feces you know, I, it, it, dudes go crazy like that in there. So you might think you're a G now. You might think you're a hard, you're a cold killer. And um, I give all you guys the respect because I don't want no problems. But it ain't worth it for you guys to be killing each other, man. Because the penitentiary, you will, if they say life, you will be there for life. Unless some grace of God, you will be there for life because you're not escaping. You're not getting out. That will be your home. So, wisen up, man. Big Herc 916. Hello, I'm Big Herc 916. Contact me for life coaching and motivational speaking. Hey. Hey, I got that 
at work. Hey, see, while y'all in quarantine, I got that work. Spit the coronavirus wig, man. Hey, go to the link in the description and get your limited edition. Coronavirus wig splitter shirts. Big Herc 916 getting out fresh out.